can't believe anybody married that slut. All because she dumped Guy Ritchie for a guy who can't hit in the clutch. He's gonna get a lot of money. Somebody's gonna touch her again like a virgin for the very first. Come on, Vogue. Or 30th time. Let your body go with the flow. Boy, that's really gonna put a hamper in her sex life. I wonder who gets custody of the English accent. You get married again, she better not wear white. I wonder who gets custody of Somalia. A-Rod will still probably miss playoffs. Cone tits, cone tits. Cone tits, cone tits. She's gonna end up with like Scott Baio's nephew. Your economic plan is gonna put Joe the plumber in a higher tax bracket. I think they both kind of look like talking puppets. I got really constipated the night of the VP debate. Where's Joe the plumber when I need him? So we have Joe Plumber, Joe Sixpack. I care more about me, the this close to homeless. He's not even a plumber. Sloppy Joe, average Joe. Joe the plumber for president. Now that's a ticket I would vote for. Joe the plumber's crack? If we could do a comparison between uh, McCain and Obama's rear ends. It's gonna be the centerfold for the new time. All this talk about the Joe the Plumber is just downright sexist. That would make it so easy for me. Well, that's why I'm gonna bring out Jane the Plumber. It's going down the shitter. I'm gonna be at my apartment throwing things at my eight inch TV. That's it. What? A thousand dollars. That's where the real fans should be. I don't much prefer watching Super Bowl stocks down. Sweaty men. Economy down. Stick their hands in each other's naughty places. Thousand dollars for a ticket? Yeah, why not? And the only people that can afford them are Europeans. Oh, I'd pay a thousand dollars just to see Janet Jackson's nipple. If you're in the stadium, you're not getting any dancing hot dogs. It's like a little Hershey uh, kiss. You know those Budweiser horses. Thanks, Janet. It would have been a lot better if it had gone right through the top of the Mirage, because then it would have just shattered the entire pyramid, and that would have been awesome. Fake bombs are just as dangerous as real bombs when you drop them from 20,000 feet. They should drop a bomb on some of those horrible Elvis impersonators in Vegas. That's Sin City! I bet you that old bomb just came from Jesus Christ himself. I lost a lot of money at Caesars. I got bombs in Vegas. So if someone could do something about that... I uh, have never actually smoked pot, but I do eat a lot of McDonald's. If you work at McDonald's... Do you take creative forms of payment? And you turn down pot as payment? You're a fool. Well, it depends on where you go. Let's be honest, there's certain parts of Brooklyn that it, that deal would've went down, man. They shouldn't call it a quarter pounder if they don't expect people to equate it with drugs. I got a happy, happy meal. Shows you what a football into the face does. <laughs> Brady girls are a bunch of silly sluts. I swear you can see her doing that every third episode. What news? Marsha slept with Greg. Ah, uh, like we didn't know that. She did the entire Brady family. Sleeping around with your brothers is what happens. Even that lovely maid Alice. It's not incestuous, they weren't related. It's okay, it's cool. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. I'm married to my sister. <laughs> I'm kidding, we're just dating. <sighs> When I watched the movie Jackass and they tasered a human being, that worked. Are they gonna have to put a warning now on tasers? Caution, do not attempt to taser a wild boar. I wanna see the evidence to prove it. I think you're lying to me. Well, of course tasers are not effective on wild boars. Taser me, let's see if it works. Wild boars don't have no sense. How are the people in Nebraska gonna cook bacon? Ah! Kids, you need to get your flu shots done because you carry germs. And those germs get spread to all the adults. And you're like a big walking germ. You wipe your nose, you pick your butt. Can you hold my hand? And you wipe it all over the place, and that's how the flu's getting all over the place. I don't want to get a shot! I think every state should require I all kids get, get flu shot. shots. So I would love to know which of the kids in my school are susceptible. The one, two. So I can put them in a special classroom. Three. They're not anywhere near me. All right, pal. <laughs> Okay. So that I don't get the disease too. Oh, who's the big trooper? Kids need shots. Still lit up. Right to the brim. There we are. See you next week. <laughs>